But if you close your eyes What's going on guys, Nerdcraft Gaming here and today I'm back with another video and this will be a computer build. This will be a five thousand dollar gaming computer and it will be able to handle anything you throw at it. Max settings, 4K, and it can even do video rendering, video editing, and yeah, let's just get right on to this for the processor, which has an Intel Core i7 6950X, 3 gigahertz, 10 core processor. This is going for $1,737. Very, very expensive, but this is the top of the line processor. It is with Intel's latest and greatest architecture, Broadwell E. And it goes on an X99 chipset motherboard. And yeah, like I said, top of the line processor. 10 cores, even better than the 5960X with Haswell. E, but let's see, hyper threading? It does have hyper threading even. And that just makes it that much better. So. <laughs> There's not much I can really say about this processor except for the fact that, like I said, it is the best processor out there. And yeah, that's it. Now, obviously, since this is an unlocked processor and we need some sort of cooling solution, so for the CPU cooler, I went with the NZXT Kraken X61. Uh, I think it's 240 millimeter. CPU cooler. I don't know, it's liquid cooled. Oh, two, 280 millimeter. Alright. Even better, even better. And, yes, this will be able to cool your processor, and you could probably bump it up to about uh, 40 hertz and just squeeze it into a little bit of performance that you can, even though you don't even need to. And, for the motherboard, like I said, this is an X99 chipset processor, so obviously we're going to need an X99 motherboard, so I went with the ASUS ROG or Republic of Gamers Strix X99 Gaming ATX LGA 2011-3 motherboard. This is a great motherboard. It will be able to overclock your processor very well, very easily, and this is a top-of-the-line motherboard. Not much I can say about it except for it's a great gaming motherboard and it looks cool. So, for the RAM, I went with G Skill Trident Z Series, 32GB of DDR4, 3200 memory. And the reason I chose this is because it looks really cool and it's kind of like Corsair Dominator Platinum. It's very quick RAM and it's pretty much G Skill's version of Dominator Pro Platinum. And for the storage, I have three storage devices. And the first one is a Samsung 950 Pro M.2 drive. It has 512 megabytes. I mean, <laughs> gigabytes. And it is very well and very expensive too, but it is the fastest um, drive that you can get right now. And that is why I chose that. So, we're going to need something to store games on. And that is why I chose the one terabyte Samsung 850 Evo 2.5 inch SSD. And the reason I went with this is because if you fill up your Samsung 950 Pro, you're gonna need something to um, load your games, and you're gonna want those to load up fast too, because you're gonna have so many games, and you're gonna want them all to load up pretty fast. The only disadvantage is since it's an 2.5 inch SSD, you won't get as fast storage as the 950 Pro but for mass storage I went with the Western Digital Black Series 4 terabyte 3.5 inch 7200 RPM internal hard drive and the reason I went with this is because WD Black is very reliable they are very great and pretty quick and 4 terabytes is probably all you need <clears throat> you can buy another one if you want and yeah it's just a great uh, hard drive so yeah let's go to the graphics cards the graphics cards I went with an easy solution two 
I'm inside a GTX 1080 8GB Founders Editions card. The only reason that I went with Founders Edition instead of just regular is because, well, that's the only one that's out right now. And very great cards, obviously the best ones right now. And you can put them in two-way crossfire mode, and if you wanted to, you could add one or two more. And just remember that you'll need high bandwidth SLI bridges, and you can play any game max settings. Like, these are very great graphics cards, and just remember that if you want to add any more, you will need an enthusiast key and another SLI bridge. For the case, I went with the NZXT H440 matte black and red ATX mid tower case, and the reason I went with this is because it looks very cool, it will fit all your stuff, and just look at it guys, very awesome. This case is just all around awesome. Look at the hard drive base, and yeah, just very great. And that is why I chose this case. And for the power supply, we're gonna need to power something <laughs> to power all of this. No, it won't use a whole lot because the new Pascal series has very efficient graphics cards. And you, and like I said, if you want to add any more graphics cards, you can. And just for very awesome <laughs> power, I guess, I went with the EVGA Supernova G2 1600 watt. One of the most, uh, some of the best power that you can get, and some of, and probably the most power that you can get in a single power supply. 80 plus gold certified, fully modular. And that wraps it up for this build. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.